PMC's Prodigy 5s are their cheapest floor standing model, costing £2,000 in the UK or $2,500. And you can tell these are the cheapest floor standing model that they make by this single matte black vinyl finish you can get them in. The fact that they use plastic feet, not the metal types of their other speakers. And also these cabinets are not made in the UK. If I had to guess, I'd say probably China or the Far East. They use a 27 millimeter soft dome tweeter, which is apparently from their Result 6 active near field monitors and a five and a quarter inch mid base unit, which is from their custom install designs. These are essentially speakers that they make that fit into walls. But common to PMC, this is actually a transmission line design, which involves taking the base air that comes off the rear of the driver in the cabinet, which is out of phase with the main driver. Obviously, forward of the driver, the air is being compressed. Behind it, it's being expanded, process called rarefaction. And then that base air is then passed along the folded port or path or the transmission line. All but the lowest base frequencies are absorbed. And then out the front of the cabinet, base is in phase with the main driver. The theory goes that because the base air is sped and transmitted along the port, it doesn't have time to reflect off the rear wall of the cabinet of the speakers and then interact with and cause distortion to the rear of the base driver. This is a problem in sealed or ported designs where this rarefied air can have an effect on distortion. Being an owner of PMC's 2523 floor standing speakers and having reviewed the 2523i, which are actually quite similar in performance, the first thing I noticed about these Prodigy 5s is that the bass performance, which PMC are known for, is quite a bit off these other 25 and 25i series models. It's slower and sloppier and not as fastly intonating or quickly dynamic. The mid bass is also not as resolving. And these aren't small things, they're quite marked and you notice them quite obviously. It's not as if you can say, okay, these are only a £2,000 speaker, so with the law of diminishing returns, they're going to be close to the £4,575 2523Is. It's not like that at all. The difference is quite marked. Tonally, I think these speakers are a little bit more relaxed than the now obsolete 2523s and the current 2523Is. If I had to give an idea, I'd say they're about plus two on the base style compared to these other models, zero. That gives you an idea where I sit. And I think this kind of more warmer sound is created by the masking effects of slower bass, which is also overlain onto the mid range, which I'll come on to. They also image nicely and relative to other similar speakers, if you've never experienced PMC transmission line designs before, you'll probably come away with an impression that the bass is nice and deep, clean and dynamic. Mids and highs are good too. Dispersion is accomplished and they are open and extended speakers. But reviews being reviews, I have to compare for there to be any validity. I might keep doing these full reviews on YouTube where I can, rather than just Patreon and keep people guessing. <laughs> And one pair of speakers that I am comparing these to is Totem's Bison Towers, which in the UK retail for £3,295. And I know that's a lot more, but if you buy them in Canada, they're £3,000 Canadian dollars, which at current rates of exchange works into about £2,000 equivalent in sterling if you factor in all the Canadian sales taxes. And trawling the internet as well on US stores, I found that the Totem Bison Towers are actually cheaper than these Prodigy 5s as well. But the first thing to say in comparison to the Totems, especially when you move the Totems away from walls with their rear ported designs, obviously to limit boundary effects, is the fact that the bass is not as overblown with these Totems. It's more dynamic, it's more precise, and it's just more natural. I was trying a bit of Richard Hawley's Darling Wait For Me on his Cole's Corner album and the bass is too thick with these Prodigy 5s 
comparative to the Bisons. The overall impression is of a speaker with these Prodigy 5s that colours the sound in terms of bass. With my own 2523s, you feel that the bass complements the mid-range and it works really, really well together. With the Prodigy 5s, I felt overall this bass is too sloppy against these Bisons. When I tried more dynamic music and I played my test tracks from Todd Turrier's album called It's Album Time, I found that the PMCs hit lower and stronger with bass than the totems, but it's more muddy. It's this way that the bass is less coherent in meshing with the treble and the mid-range in these PMCs that takes them a notch down compared to the totems. The totems just do that so much better. It is the same with the repetitive bass lines on Jam and Spoon's Tripomatic Fairy Tales album. You get a sense that these PMCs don't have the same resolution as the Bisons. With the Bisons, it's more naturally portrayed. The mid-range is sweeter. It integrates better. I felt that the mid-range of these PMCs is a little bit thin and it sits a little bit further back in the sound stage and not quite as well integrated. It means that these PMCs are the less exciting speakers relative to the Bisons. They don't have the same character and resolution in treble that is really pleasing. I'm not talking about excessive or bright treble that's grating, but just natural realistic treble. And this was no more apparent to me when I was playing my test track Attached from Orbital's Snivelization album. Also, these totems have deeper and wider sound staging compared to the PMC's higher staging. So being better in more than one axis, I felt the totems are the more accomplished speaker as well. In some tracks, very high treble with the Prodigy 5s is a bit like a digital hash where there isn't much treble in the mid-range or resolution in the mid-range. And when all of a sudden a sound produces lots of treble, it can come out and bite you. And this is especially so with really, really bad toppy recordings. With the Bisons, on the other hand, this doesn't happen. And because of their more neutral, natural and refined character. These PMCs are a bit like buying a city car from a brand like Lamborghini when the same or less money gets you a better city car from other brands. And that's my problem with these PMCs really. Just like that Lamborghini isn't really a Lambo, these PMCs aren't really PMCs on account of how they deal with bass and their bass performance. I love my 2523s and the 2523Is for their speed, rawness and scale and dynamics too beyond these Bison speakers and the Prodigy 5s. But my speakers cost £3,300 and not being the current I range are no longer sold. Of course, the £4,575 2523Is are more expensive than the Bison speakers and I think less value for money. If I had £3,300 burning a hole and I was choosing between these two speakers in the UK, I'd buy the Totems. If I was in the US or Canada and choosing between these two speakers, and obviously the price is around equivalent of £2,000, I'd even more be buying the Totems. I really don't understand how some reviews have given these PMCs awards because all the reviews that I watched or read made no comparisons to other similarly priced floor standards but still awarded them. Another concern that I would have in buying these speakers and using them with a low power amplifier or one with low slew rate or damping factor is that they're not going to be able to control dynamically bass as well, particularly for a 6 ohm speaker. So that's gonna make choice of amplifier cost prohibitive. I think that these Prodigy 5s do sound good unto themselves. And if we compare them to other similarly priced floor standing speakers, they may hold their own. Certainly in this case against the Totems, I don't think they do sound as good. And to be honest, I never really thought I'd be saying that as a PMC owner myself. 
Thanks very much for watching and do make sure to support me on Patreon. You can sign up for a free trial to consistently get access to all my thoughts and opinions where I can't always do that on YouTube.